here's a recap of what we discovered. It's been a few days now, um, but what we discovered about complex multiplication, multiplication of complex numbers. Um, so I've got a sketchpad document open here that we were using that automatically multiplies two complex numbers. I've called them W and Z, a relabeled stuff, to produce W Z, which is just W times Z. And <clears throat> if we start moving W around, we can see WZ start to move. If we start moving Z, of course, WZ is also going to move. And the question is, what's the rule here? What's going on? And um, what we noticed is that if we make, let's say, the magnitude of W simple, let's say, let's make it 2, then let's move Z around and see what happens to the magnitudes of Z. How are the magnitudes of Z and WZ related? Well, it looks like you're getting the WZ is twice the magnitude. Remember that's just the distance to the origin. And looks like it's still true. 1.5 doubles to 3. There's a work over here. Let's see. 1.25. That doubles to 2.5. 1.25 down here doubles to 2.5. Looks like we're just doubling. Well, in other words, it looks like we're multiplying the magnitude of Z by the magnitude of W. Well, what happens if, say, the magnitude of W is 3? Does it still work? You betcha. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Okay. Oh, I'm clicking the wrong point. Ah, there we go. Okay, so now let's say, ooh, three times one and a third. Ooh, that's about four. Ah. So it looks like the magnitudes multiply. Okay, and you can play with that. We're, we're going to play with that a little bit more ourselves. So <clears throat> another way to see that is let's take W and just try to change only its magnitude. It's a little hard to do that uh, without setting up another sketch. But if we just kind of go out and in and not change the angle much, but just change the magnitude, look what happens to WC. Its angle isn't changing, but its magnitude is increasing and decreasing in lockstep with W. Similarly, if we change the magnitude of Z, that changes the magnitude of WZ. But it doesn't seem to change the angle unless I change the angle of, of Z. Okay, so that leads us to what's the rule for angles? Well, <clears throat> and again, I relabeled these guys. Arg is our, our notation for the, the direction angle for a complex number. Remember, it's the angle from the positive real axis, say, to W. And that, that's actually easier to see uh, at the risk of maybe putting in a little bit of clutter. Um, let's put in some, uh, some segments here. And so it's just the angle, the angle for arg of w is just the angle in here, arg of w is the angle from the x-axis to z, and then here's arg of w, z. <coughs> well, let's look at these. 20 plus 50, 70. Hmm. If this is real, it doesn't change the angle at all. Multiplying by a real number, we discovered already, just scales it, and that doesn't change the angle. Well, adding 0 to this doesn't change this guy. Well, it's close to 0. What about if w is equal to i? Let's try to make it just about 90, exactly 90 degrees. Ah, oh. now if z is 40, w uh, w is about 130. Or let's see, 40, 130, 65, 155. It looks like these angles are just adding. And so one way way to test that is I'm just going to take z and I'm just going to try to change just its angle pretty much by kind of moving it in a circle. When I add a bit of angle to z, I add the same angle to wz. So they rotate together. If I increase w, then that it increases the angle between wz and z. But again, it's wz is just rotating with w because z is fixed. And so it <coughs> looks like the, the punchline is simply that magnitudes multiply whoop, and angles add. It's a very simple rule when you do it in polar. When you look at this polar form, you concentrate on the magnitude and direction, or magnitude and argument, of a complex number, and not so much on the a plus bi. You can always add, multiply with a plus bi, but the, the significance is not as, as clear. But this is a beautiful geometric rule about multiplying complex numbers. We're going to play with it a little bit more, and then we're going to really make use of it um, to discover some very cool identities about trig.